Hello and welcome back to The Walking Dead Episode 2, Part 2. Um, so last time we made it to the dairy farm that um, was supposed to... Um, they have food and we're going to go check out the area, see what things are like. Uh, let's get going. I guess I'll start exploring. Look at the swing. Look at it. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward well, soon. to when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Now where can I find some wood? And some rope? Maybe I can use this here axe to... to chop down this tree and give me some wood. Guess I'll use the gate. Going in. I swear if I find some creepy shit. Mm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Guess we're going in. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. Okay. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Oh, uh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home cooked meat tonight. Okay, I really don't trust you. I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. I think this feast is a trap. Thing up there, but what's the point in looking at it? Now let's look over here. Picket fence, board, saw. Um, Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. You mean like this, right next to you? Use one of these boards. Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Now I just need some rope. Touch. <laughs> Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Zap. Come on, I wanna kill him. Zap. Zap. Okay. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Okay. Looking for rope. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? 
The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Just need some rope. The board is good, but I need some rope. Yep, that's kind of what I've been saying. Maybe it's up by the house? Board shoe bucket. There's the rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. It's perfect. Okay. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Where am I keeping the axe exactly? <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go look at the perimeter. Oh, there's a gate. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds okay. <laughs> Let's head out then. Right. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but... It's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Uh, Mark's gonna get shocked. <laughs> So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling them up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Um. Okay, so the light's off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Well, let's push. Looks like he's stuck. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Up. Oh. Looks like he's stuck. Okay, then what do I do? Disgusting. What do you 
you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Okay, so I just said keep trying. Okay. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? <laughs> yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Um, these folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Yo, the light's still off. So that's good. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. I don't know if we should leave that on either. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright. I can suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> uh, well, you just you just cemented your own death, buddy. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Whoa, shit. What the? Get to the gate. Whoa. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's out. Um. Well, what do I do? Get back here. Uh, get down. Um. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to safety. They're wasting a lot of arrows. Whoa. Oh, I can't interact with it anymore? Okay. Now I'll try pushing it. No. Okay. Shit, something still plot. Can't hide forever. Did you really think you could fuck with us? No fuel. Of course. Where's our food, you asshole? Well, I don't know what to do about that. Get closer. Oh yeah, pull that. There we go. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah. Uh, this is this is cool. Damn, I already got one of you. Oh. Over 
What happened? Shit. What so happened? We pushed down earlier. You're gonna have to move. Move. Give us the food. How are they not killing us? Honestly, we should be dead. <laughs> Another one? How many of those things did we push down? I only remember like two. Oh. Um, yeah, stop. Stop it. Oh. And. Oh, hey, cool. I don't know if that was the best idea. Oh, he's just following along. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate that. Let's get out of here. Close the gate. <laughs> Ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Uh, bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn it hurts! Hey y'all! Mark! Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are Obviously. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. So don't, don't trust these people. Well, I mean, they obviously made a deal with the other group. We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a I lot think of it was them. The killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're going to let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan. I would have thought things. that they would have the opposite to try to kind of ideas. While I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Thanks. You did let them know not to touch the fence, right? <laughs> okay. But now I'm just- oh, god, he's gonna hit me. Oh, my face! Oh, so Clem just kind of gets left out. <laughs> I need to walk away over the way over there to look I'm at it. Happy. That that's 
what it took you so much time to, t to take care of. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You've been lucky out there. A bit a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since okay. I Jeff had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All I have right. a bad feeling That's about that. <laughs> okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. I Man, I know she's yeah. still there by episode okay, five because, like, we literally saw her picture, and like, I'm not certain about it, but I'm pretty sure she's in the later seasons too. Like, I think she has more of like agency as a character. You know, like she, it's not just Lee doing everything. Why would I need to look at the hay bales? Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Okay. <laughs> If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Okay. <laughs> or hey. Go up the stairs, dummy. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. Yeah. Well, if we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Fair enough. the point of looking at the picket fence. Fellas? How you feeling? Fellas? <laughs> I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. 
So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Sure. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Kind of looks abandoned. Yeah. Okay, now I can start moving. Oh, come on, Lee. You see anybody? Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Okay. There gonna be a zombie in there? Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole. Wait, is this the governor? I mean, I wouldn't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if, like, like he has the right face. I think. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Okay. Look at that crate. Nothing. Empty. Okay. Is this? What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. Yeah, well, yeah, I can't trust them. Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. <laughs> I see okay. you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? I was suddenly remembering the uh, regular training schedule. The battery thing Lily, from the first huh? episode. Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. I'm going back over here. Just water.
Yeah, okay. So I definitely can't trust these guys, right? Like, there's, he's definitely hiding something with that camera, and I'm gonna have to get batteries for it at some point, I'm guessing. Like, I, I just definitely can't trust him. Okay, so there's photo. Maybe these... Oh, maybe these weren't bandits, per se, but maybe, uh... Maybe they were attacked by the dairy. The hey, hell? hey. Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girls. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the Wait, what hell now? are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for oh. Okay. <laughs> Jolene. 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 God damn it! Is that Clem's mom? You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Thanks for shopping at Save Lots. <laughs> nice. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah. Really don't yeah. trust this guy. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. I feel like this is the governor, and him picking up the crossbow is some kind of foreshadowing. Like, does he use a crossbow? Is that it? Something happened. I'm not. I'm not sure what it was, but something just happened. It's like the kind of thing that like people who've watched such and such amount of the show will be like, "Ah, oh, he's got the crossbow that he shoots so and so with." Ah. Ugh. Well. I will end this episode here, and I'll see you all next time on The Walking Dead. Bye.